everyone. As promised, I'm gonna be making some recipes today to get ready for any Super Bowl festivities that might be going on. I know this year's gonna look a little different than the past, but that doesn't mean we can't still enjoy ourselves and maybe even in a healthier way. So I hope you enjoy. Today I'm gonna to be making, in place of bagel bites, we're gonna have some zucchini pizzas. We're gonna have some jalapeno poppers. And of course, I've got some chili going on here because we can't have a Super Bowl without chili. So here we go, we're gonna start with our zucchini pizza bites. And we are gonna start by preheating the oven to 400. And I'm going to take three large zucchini that I've sliced with a mandolin slicer on the largest setting to be about a quarter of an inch thick. And I'm gonna brush these with some olive oil. Now that we've got those all brushed with the olive oil, we're gonna put them in the oven for five minutes to get them tender. While the zucchini bites are in the oven, I'm gonna talk about my chili over here, which is on plan. Now, I have chosen to use venison in this. I used venison stew meat. You can use any kind of ground meat as long as it's lean, turkey or beef. You're gonna brown your meat first, and then you're gonna put it in a crock pot with some diced tomatoes, some cumin, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some paprika, some cinnamon, and of course some chili powder. Cook it on low for eight to nine hours, and voila, chili will be ready when it's time for the game. Now that these have cooked for five minutes, we're gonna spread a little bit of on-plan sauce, which is a very low sugar, low carb sauce. And we're gonna spread that over each one of these. Just spread a thin layer of sauce on. Then we're gonna sprinkle on a tiny bit of cheese onto each one. Top with our turkey pepperoni. And sprinkle a little bit of oregano on. After these are all done, we're gonna put them back in the oven and bake them for 10 minutes. Okay, while our pizza bites are in the oven, we're gonna move on to our jalapeno poppers. Now, I know these are great. We're gonna make a healthier version of these. I do suggest that you either wear gloves or you please be careful to wash your hands after handling the hot pepper. As I have learned from past experience, you do not wanna to touch your face or your eyes after cutting into the peppers. I have taken six jalapenos that I've sliced in half, longwise in half, and I've removed the ribs and the seeds. And to do that, you're just gonna cut into it with a paring knife or a sharp knife, cut around the sides like this, and then you're actually just gonna pull them out. I'm gonna go over the seed to do this. Once it's out, that's what it looks like. Okay, now into a bowl, I'm putting a cup of reduced fat cream cheese. We're putting a cup of reduced fat cheddar. We have here some paprika, some cumin, some chili powder, and some garlic powder. And I have a large red pepper, sweet pepper. Now you can put ground beef in this as well and use less cheese and it'll still be a lean and green meal. You would brown the ground beef first or ground turkey. And we are gonna take each jalapeno and we're gonna fill it with our cheese mixture. pizza bites are done we are going to turn the oven down to 350 and we are going to put our jalapeno poppers in for 20 to 25 minutes okay well there you have it we have some of our delicious zucchini pizza bites we've got some jalapeno poppers and some delicious game day chili in the crock pot now I also have recipes like I said before for queso and buffalo cauliflower and spinach and artichoke dip those were from an earlier video back, um, I believe October 17th or so, but if you'd like those recipes as well, please let me know. With these recipes, it doesn't matter if your team wins or loses because you're still winning. Yes, I hope all these
these recipes help you prepare for the Super Bowl. See you next week. Bye.